How's it going, everyone? This is Adam from Slur, Ship My Money on DraftKings, and I'll be breaking down the pitchers for you for the early slate on July 6th. There are only a handful of pitchers that I think are really interesting on the six-game slate. Um, so starting with cash on DraftKings, I really want to just use um, Jacob deGrom at $10,000 and then Bud Norris at $6,000. deGrom gets a matchup with the Marlins, who they don't strike out a ton, and I don't think there's a lot of upside here for deGrom, but I do think he's the safest option on the board. And the Marlins also don't have Justin Bohr today. So Chris Johnson adds probably a strikeout or two and also just, you know, obviously takes one of their best hitters out of the lineup. So I think the ground's really safe. Norris at 6,000 is too cheap. Obviously, he gets a dangerous matchup with the Orioles, but he's been pitching really, really well lately. He's been throwing his slider a lot and throwing a cutter to lefties. Um, the Orioles are, you know, right-handed heavy, which he's actually been good against righties all season long. And then now he's got that cutter that will most likely keep Chris Davis and Matt Wieters from doing too much damage to him. So I like him a lot, especially at 6,000. For tournaments, I think there are a couple more options you can consider. DeGrom, I think, is in play, again, since he you know just is the best pitcher on the slate. But I don't think he has that much upside in this matchup. And so for GPPs on DraftKings, I think that Tanner Roark's a pretty interesting pivot. He's $500 more, so I don't think he's going to be popular because you can just take DeGrom for $500 less. But he's got a matchup with a Brewers team that strikes out a ton and doesn't hit well against right-handed pitching. And for the most part throughout his career, he's done well against righties. So I think that's a pretty interesting spot where you can pivot and you don't necessarily expect Roark to do better than DeGrom on most days, but I think the ownership difference will be worth the pivot taking the chance that you know he beats him today and you get a leg up on all of the DeGrom teams. Um, Norris, I think, is also in play in GPPs. You know His price is too low. He's definitely got upside with the way he's been striking people out. Sonny Gray at 5,900 I think is an interesting pivot off of Norris. I don't think he has the strikeout upside that Norris does, but he does have a pretty good matchup against the Twins and, you know, in the short turnaround after they played the late game last night. And he's $5,900, so, you know, he's a pivot off of Norris. And then Adam Warren at 4,200 if you really just have a ton of expensive bats you want to load up on. He, in his last start at AAA, he went five innings, so I expect him to be able to go around you know, five innings today. He gets a matchup with a Reds team that can hit really well, but Jay Bruce isn't in the lineup, so that's a boost to Warren. And he's just a decent pitcher. I mean, he's a reliever making a spot start, so he's not someone that's going to have a great game for you. But at 4,200, he can definitely give you you know 12 to 14 DraftKings points and let you pay up at bats if you don't like the more expensive pitchers and you want to pay up for hitting instead. On fan dueling cash, I think Jacob deGrom is definitely the play at 10,300. Just because, again, you know, best pitcher on the slate, not in a bad matchup. And there's just not a lot of other pitchers that, like, mirror him in safety, I don't think. But if you do have trouble fitting bats in, which generally you don't on fan duel because their pricing sucks. But if you do, like, if you can't find bats that you like with deGrom, then my second choice would be Norris at 7,100. But I really want to try and get deGrom into my cash lineups. In GPPs, it's a little bit different because, again, you know, the ground's 10,300, and I just don't think he's got a ton of upside here. And so, again, I don't mind going to Norris at 10 or Norris at 7,100 or, or Roark at 9,000, but that's about as creative as I'll probably get on FanDuel with pitching. So that's what I'm thinking for right now. As always, stop into the Slurve chat, and we, have a, we will have our expert chat live at 5 p.m. to discuss the late slate. Good luck today, guys.